Do, 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 do. Yes, it's time for the Snake Eyes Hot Take. Hey everyone. No, it's not a ninja. It's Reverend Sully, Eric O'Sullivan. And this is my uh, hot take on Snake Eyes, the G.I. Joe Origins movie, which I didn't see. I'm a huge fan of G.I. Joe. I'm a G1 G.I. Joe fan. We were kids when we uh, were playing with all of our action figures. And we even learned how to make ninja masks out of our t-shirts, which I'll show you at the end of this hot take. And this is a quick one because it's, um, there was the usual controversy about the race swap of, you know, another comic book character. But you know what? That's not even the point. Who cares? Henry Golding's fine. Sure. Um, but what mattered most to me was something a bit more sublime and intrinsic to who Snake Eyes is as a as a character and why we have this feeling for Snake Eyes. Um, Snake Eyes is a war veteran. What happened to Snake Eyes uh, in his original story, uh, regardless of who his identity is, was he was grievously injured performing his duty as a U.S. soldier. Part of his uh, ninja training was about recovery and, and what we call reintegration. You've been shattered. Um, and... Is this a commercial? Oh, no. <laughs> I love it, the bump music. This is a great YouTube station. It's Hasbro itself. 24-7 cartoons. Um, where was I? Yeah, uh, regardless of... It's called reintegration. And uh, your shattered heart, your shattered psyche, your shattered soul. Well, there's a way to get the pieces all back together again uh, as best as you can. It's called therapy. And we they ask us to reintegrate all of our hurt parts back into a whole part as best as we can from wherever we're coming from that day. You know, uh, the struggle is real. Well, Snake Eyes struggle is real. Whoever who he was, whomever who he was, you know, whomever he was. Um, he was a wounded warrior in the classic sense of, you know, soldiers who get injured performing their duty, um, serving their country, uh, regardless of what war it was, uh, what age it was. Wounded warriors um, need our respect and uh, our admiration, too. My personal spin on this, uh, my stepbrother was a wounded warrior. He was a proud U.S. Marine. He was, gri he was not grievously. He was terribly injured um, in a training exercise during the Iraq, the first Iraq war, um, where he... And, it was an ordinance mishap. He lost half of his hearing and the uh, lives of a few of his uh, squad mates, his, uh, his, his brothers, his Marine brothers. And he never recovered from that. And so his choices lead from his PTSD and his injuries led to his lifestyle, which led to his, you know, his not taking care of himself. Uh, and we lost him to his vices um, at 45 years old. And so he was a wounded warrior and so are many, many, many other veterans. And so to remove that aspect from Snake Eyes' origin story, I think is more harmful than any race swap. Because the, 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 that was this foolish. That looked more like Quick Kick, who was a different G.I. Joe character. Um, Quick Kick had that, the mouth and the wit and, you know, a swagger. Um, so this seems like dovetailing two different Joes into one. Um, that's just my humble opinion. That seemed more Quick Kick than, than Snake Eyes. Um, but regardless, Snake Eyes gets injured. Snake Eyes be loses his ability to talk 
and also he loses um, his facial features. Therefore, um, he needs to rem- he hides his facial features behind his mask, unfortunately, and that's part of his. But well, part of his reintegration and his healing was learning this new skill set of of ninjutsu, and. But what caused that? What was his inciting incident? It was his. It was his wartime injury, and um, that's just my hot take on Snake Eyes. Um, I'll watch it eventually when it comes to Amazon Prime. When it's, I've already paid for it. It's two hours long, man. Like, whatever happened to like, the ninety-minute movie <laughs> with three acts? That, that's Fargo is that example. Check out the Coen Brothers Fargo if you think I'm lying. Um, but thank you. What are your thoughts? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this content. Give me a thumbs down if you disapprove of my uh, my thoughts here. Um, put it, Leave a comment in the comment section. And um, yeah, Wounded Warriors. We need to respect them. Uh, and a YouTube shout out to uh, Mark the Cyborg. He's a Canadian gamer and YouTube creator. He's also um, a war veteran and a medic. And he's a wounded warrior. And he's so cool. And you should give him a follow and check out his content. And um, and thank you, Mark, for your service. I'm a civilian. And thank you and for your sacrifice. God bless you and your, and your family. And um, that's all I got for today. And uh, cheers. God bless you. And... Go Joe. Yes, yo Joe. I know, I know. I just <laughs> Take care. Cheers. Is that off?